so for today's video i'll be cooking this on bulgogi i've been marinating this pork for more than 30 minutes right now i don't really have much time to marinate them longer so yeah guys so as you can see it's been marinating i'm using a korean soy sauce and the spicy korean bulgogi sauce actually i don't really like to um use that because it's barbecue and it's sweet but i don't have no choice so i use the barbecue one so i'm doing the pork as you can see here guys i have my skillet i'm gonna turn this on i'll just turn it on and i'm gonna show you all my vegetables that i'm gonna be using for today's video or for today's meal so this is um jalapeno actually it's more like banana peppers of course i have my onions carrots chili peppers garlic um spring onion and i have a small pieces here so i can uh, mix it while i'm cooking and this one is for garnishing all right guys so pretty much that's it and i'm gonna start by cooking this pork so i can feel it's heating up hopefully all the flavor will absorb on the meat So I'm going to use a little bit of avocado oil to cook my meat. So while it's heating up, I'm going to put in a good amount of oil. So I'm only using this spray one. Yeah. A little bit of healthier choice. So still waiting for that to get real hot. It's actually it smells really good. Yeah, you can smell the really good smell. I'm gonna use my tongs to actually cook it. I just hope that I have enough time to marinate this meat because I can use solid from work. So so like I'm rushing it. So I'm gonna start putting my meat because I can feel the heat coming on right now. I'm going to turn it up a little bit because it's cold, so um, the seasoning is um, getting slower. So when I cook guys, sometimes I watch the video. But sometimes I just get the ingredients, then I just try to do my own procedure. So, and I add a little bit of stuff. So, yeah. I don't know, I don't really have a follow recipe. Some people cannot cook without um, a recipe, so, yeah. But for me, most of the time, I just get the ingredients and look at the video ones. Sometimes I'll try it because I need to get all the ingredients. And from there, I am um, cooking. So guys, if you can see, that's what you like. That's what you want to happen with the meat. Turning and cook down. You see the marks on the back, so you see that like this here. Okay. 
that. That's what you like to have. So guys, I add the remaining sauce and it actually tastes really good. I'm excited. First time making bulgogi. Alright guys, so this is almost done. There. You can see there's just a little bit of sauce left, which is, I don't want to get it dry. Okay, so this is good for the rice, this sauce. It's a little bit sweeter than I would I would like to, but I think because of the uh, bulgogi that I use the bulgogi sauce, I just add the spring onions. I'll mix it, then it should be done. So right, uh, okay, that's it. It's done. Let's make a plate. Of course, guys, with the steamed rice, and I'm gonna put the bulgogi on top. Okay, guys, here's the bulgogi with the steamed rice. Can I tell you guys? So, I already make a plate. Dinner served.